Hello. Uh, this video shows turning a sphere using the shadow sphere jig. I've already turned the wood to a cylinder, lined up the pattern on the bottom. Right now I'm beveling the tail stop edge with a spindle down. Starting with fairly heavy cuts, and then as it gets, starts to get close to the line, switching to the The um, doubled line is now about to to the shadow. You see the circle. So I'm starting to curve in on the tail stock end, trimming the knob back a little bit. What I'm watching is the shadow on the back edge of the leg, which is closest to you right now. Um, as you can see, when the tool is near the end, um, the shadow of the tool covers up the shadow of the sphere, so it's easier to work on the back. When I'm doing this routinely, I use a mirror, um, so I don't have to uh, peer around the sphere itself. Occasionally, you're going to see my head get in the way. Um, but if I use the mirror here, you wouldn't be able to see the shadows. So I'm doing it without it for this one. Okay, so the back edge is, the tail stock end is done now. So I'm going to start beveling down on the head stock end. Again, starting with semi heavy cuts. This is where you can see my head get in the way of the shadow because I'm trying to look around the sphere to see the line in the back. So it's about to end here, so I'll start going and off towards the bottom here. Okay, so it's pretty close now. I'm going to clean up the surface and get rid of little bumps and ridges using a shear scraper. This is a pyramid point tool that's been sharpened asymmetrically, so it comes to a little fine bit of a point. It's short, sort of like the shear sphere, only not as radical. You can look on my website uh, for the article on making this shear sphere. You can see there's pretty wispy uh, shavings coming off. It leaves a nice, a nice final surface. There's a light cut. Actually, I should have sharpened it before I did this part. It would have been more impressive. Now I'm switch. Oh, no, sorry, not yet. Now I'm switching now to a radical shear sphere. To trim down the nubs. Um, you'll see I can, one, I can still see the shadow, so I can trim them and then still follow the curve, and I can get down to a really small little nub here. You don't want to go through completely, both because the ball would fall off the lathe and because it might tear out some fibers. So I want to go down just really small. Now I'll look on the other end.
So that's pretty much got it. I can cut off the nubs now with a utility knife. I like that. And turn up a little bit, and there we are. Um, the shadow. There's an article on the Shadow Sphere jig on my website, which is www.davidreadsmith.com. Thanks for watching. Have a look.